This week, we head to SeaWorld to try Mama's Pretzel Kitchen. And we head to the airport to take you on one of the fanciest airplanes you've ever seen. We'll also have the latest theme park news and more coming at you right, right now. This week's show is brought to you by MEI Travel, our preferred travel agent for Disney World, Universal, cruises, and all your vacation planning needs. For a free quote with no obligation, visit MEITravel.com. Undercover Tourist is our recommended supplier of discount tickets to Florida and California theme parks and attractions. For the best deals and planning tips, go to UndercoverTourist.com or find them on Facebook and Twitter. Fun Spot America is Central Florida's only family-owned theme park. Offering two locations, Orlando and Kissimmee, both theme parks provide safe, clean fun. For more information, visit fun-spot.com. Hello and welcome to this week's episode of the show. I'm Banks. And I'm Elisa. So I think I'm going to dub 2015 the year of the closure. Year it seems like right. so many things have closed this year. And we got one coming up here. Uh, September 7th is your last day to ride Disaster over at Universal Studios before that closes to make way for Fast and Furious. We'll talk about that yep. in a little bit. I know. I saw that you've already uh, gone back to ride it a few times. I have. I went over there to shoot a lot of video, document the ride. We'll have that up on our YouTube channel sometime next week. I got... I know a lot. some of the rooms they've typically said in the past, no video, but I got permission, so oh. everything's all good. I was able to fully document the ride. Okay. So I'm, I'm, it's a fun attraction. It's not like one of the big hits of the park, but it's it's got a little niche audience, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm, I'm going to miss it. I'm not sad to see it go, but I know a lot of people are. So When was the last time you wrote it? At least six months ago. Yeah. It's been a while. You, you got to go back and volunteer one last time <laughs> and then be in the in the little production they do there. True, true. You got, so another one that is not confirmed, but also on the fence, it may or may not close, is One Man's Dream over at Hollywood Studios. Yes. And this one, I think, is a bad idea if they close it. This is a bad idea. Lots of rumors, though, that it is closing. So if you are in town and can get over there, definitely see it while you can, because who knows, one day, another closing announcement. It yeah, it could happen. It could be like we're going to close it next Tuesday, mm -hmm. so or they could already be closed. I think it will happen. I think that's the way it's going to be. It's going to be fast. And I just, I, I've said this before to other people, and I've said, One Man's Dream is like the one thing in Walt Disney World property that really pays tribute to the legacy of Walt Disney. Why would you close that? Why would you get rid of, of that? Maybe they'll move it somewhere else. I hope so. Yeah. I think they've have moves, moved exhibits like this in the past, so maybe they'll move it again. Mm -hmm. Crossing my fingers because it's a. I love that exhibit so much. Mm -hmm. I try to go in there every time I'm there. We shall see. All right, we shall see. But there's a lot of other news going on, so let's get to news in the queue. First up this week, the second annual O-Town Mackdown, presented by Give Kids the World, is quickly approaching. The Mackdown is an unbechazable afternoon of food and fun, with cooking demonstrations, live entertainment, a kid zone, and best of all, unlimited mac and cheese. That is unbechazable. Right? <laughs> I love that wording. The competition is open to professional chefs, restaurant chefs, and caterers with the tastiest mac and cheese who want to earn bragging rights and prizes. It will be held at the Osceola Heritage Park on September 12th from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Tickets are available online now at $10 for adults and $5 for children. Ticket prices will be a little bit higher at the door. I saw reports from the last from last year's event and I was really upset that I missed out on it, so I might have to try and make it this time because the photos of all the mac and cheese just look so good. I love mac and cheese. I was there last year, and it, it's pretty much the best thing you can possibly think of. It's literally unlimited mac and cheese. For, just for, for that ticket price, unlimited all you can yeah. eat. You just go up to the different vendors. They're from different restaurants, different chefs. Say, hey, and they're sample, and just sample all day long. What was your fa do, you remember what, do you remember what your favorite was that you sampled? Oh, my gosh. Because I'll have to keep, see if it's back and keep, keep an eye out for um, it. The definitely... The ones with bacon inside. Mm -hmm. There was one from a specific restaurant, but I don't remember which one it was now. 
But you'll just have to try them all and figure it out then. Okay, just try them all. <laughs> just don't eat for the past like day or two beforehand and just. That's a good tip. Like definitely <laughs> go there on an empty stomach because it's it's a lot. Of Very food. good. All right, I will do that. The full details have been revealed for Halloween Horror Nights 25 at Universal Orlando. The most popular house from 2013, An American Werewolf in London, will be returning. Other houses include Freddy vs. Jason, Insidious, The Walking Dead, and The Purge. In a new house this year, you'll be able to relive the most terrifying moments of the past 25 years as Jack releases a catalog of creatures in one maze. You'll be attacked by Universal classic monsters, maniacs, and the fiends of Horror Nights past. Other original houses include Run, Blood, Sweat, and Fears, Body Collectors, Recollections, and Asylum in Wonderland 3D. The scare zones this year are Psychotherapy Unleashed, The Icons of Halloween Horror Nights, Scary Tales, Scream Punk, Evil's Roots, and All Night Dying, Die In, Dying. double feature. Mm -hmm. Look for a full preview on next week's show. I'm excited for this. There's a lot of fun stuff here. I'm especially excited for that uh, the anniversary house, the, the Jack House, with all the stuff sure. from the history of the event. They even confirmed that you'll be going through scenes of houses from event from the past. Mm -hmm. So I think that's a really cool idea to be able to relive some fun moments. Definitely. I think Halloween Horror Nights is known for their icons there and you know showing that from the movies that people know so well. So the fact that they're bringing more of that in, again, is, is really smart. Are you ready to, to, to make your way through there? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> sure, let's go. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm not ready to purge. Like last oh, week. Oh, yeah, yeah, we found that. Uh, <laughs> she's way, really too eager to purge. But. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so over at Universal Orlando as well, Lowe's, they have announced a 400-room expansion for Cabana Bay Beach Resort. Opening in 2017, the expansion will consist of two additional towers that will be located at the south end of the property. Select rooms in the new towers will offer views of Universal's Volcano Bay, also opening in 2017. This came out of the blue. I had no mm -hmm. idea. There's no rumors about this or anything. Mm -hmm. I love when Universal is still able to surprise us. It's true. I think it's smart. I mean, right now they're not filling up, but definitely in the summer they fill to 100% capacity. Mm -hmm. I have a friend that works the front desk there, so okay. she's not so excited because <laughs> it's a lot more work and rooms, but I do think it's smart, especially having the view of Volcano Bay. I'm just wondering how much room it's going to take up on the south end because, I mean, there's already not a lot of room there for Volcano mm -hmm. Bay, so... I'm, I'm just curious about that. Sounds like they'll find a way to squeeze it in. I'm sure they will, <laughs> and I, I'm looking forward to both Volcano Bay and this new hotel. Mm -hmm. I need to stay, still need to stay there. I've yet to stay there. True. Have you stayed there? I've stayed at Cabana Bay once. I still haven't. still haven't. Mm -hmm. It looks beautiful, though. It is. It's very nice. All right. Have you ever seen us post a photo of an item for sale at Walt Disney World that you wanted, but you weren't planning on visiting anytime soon? Now you may be able to order it from home. For the first time, guests can shop for Walt Disney World merchandise from home using the new Shop Disney Parks app. This is uh, bad news for, for some people. <laughs> guests at the parks can scan products for more information. The app also allows guests to see which Walt Disney World Resort stores offer specific items. I may have joked earlier, but this is actually a really neat idea. I think it's genius. It's also very dangerous. Yeah, <laughs> of course. I downloaded the app and then I said, you know what? Nope, I don't need this. I can go to the park. Because you used to be laying in bed and be like, <laughs> all right, bye, bye. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Also, you, you have like three boxes showing up at your door a week yeah. later. <laughs> <laughs> but it is very smart on Disney, for, especially for those people that can't get here as often as they would like. Yeah, especially and, and, and for those that were on vacation here and they're like, oh, we, you know, we, don't, we don't have enough money to, to save up to buy this. We'll go home and we'll buy it when we get exactly. home. Exactly. Well, that's very a very good, good idea. Hi everyone, let's go to Epcot this week for a hidden Mickey. On Spaceship Earth, you've probably seen this one, but I want to remind you anyway, just after the Gutenberg printing press scene, in the first part of the Renaissance section, look for the first painter to the left of your ride vehicle. Three white paint circles form a classic Mickey on the top left of the table near the painter. You have to look fast for this one. It's been there a while, but it's a good one. Take a look yourself. Happy hunting. Summer's coming on at Fun Spot with more rides, more value, more memories. This summer, ride Orlando's only wooden roller coaster. Go on the Freedom Flyer or ride our elevated go-kart tracks. We've got the all-new Screamer. Also new, Water Wars. New games like Transformers and Dirty Driver and you can feed over a hundred alligators. Less than half the price of the big parks. Two fun spots, Orlando and Kissimmee. Come on out to Fun Spot, where it's huge. 
I am really craving one of those bacon pretzel twists, but I really don't want to have to drive all the way out to Busch Gardens in Tampa just to get one. Well, now, lucky for you, you don't have to. Really? Yep. You can get that and much more at the new Mama's Pretzel Kitchen inside SeaWorld Orlando. Well, what am I doing here right now? I need to go over there and get one. Wait, 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 Banks, we have to finish filming first. Here, why don't we uh, build right. up your appetite by watching Anthony try all the new foods? All right, all right. But as soon as we're done filming, I'm heading over there, all right? <laughs> Hey guys, we're here at SeaWorld where they just opened Mama's Pretzel Kitchen. Now they have a ton of different pretzels and craft beers. Just thinking about them is making me really hungry, so let's go try them all out. Tell me a little about the story behind Mama's Pretzel Kitchen. Yeah. Story behind the Pretzel Kitchen is something unique. Uh, you know, it came from uh, a Williamsburg, the first, the first Pretzel Kitchen. It, it, it was built in uh, an, uh, in Williamsburg Bush Garden. It came from uh, it came from Trampa. They opened last year, and finally they came over here to Orlando. Uh, the unique thing about it is that every every kitchen do a couple different things on their area. And uh, the, the 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 different thing that we did over here in Orlando was that we make the meatball pretzel. Uh, we make the meatball pretzel with uh, meatball twisted, salty, uh, mozzarella cheese. We serve it with marinara sauce, so you can break your pretzel deeper in the marinara sauce, eat it. And so we serve it with some fried chips too, so you can have it. It's a whole meal together. It's two things put together. It's like a meatball and a salty pretzel. It's like the Italian come close to German, and they eat it together. So that's what it is. It's something something different and unique. The, the other good thing about it is that we do the, 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 the mustard infused pretzel. It is mustard that is baking inside of the pretzel. So basically you don't have to be dipping your pretzel in mozzarella. The mozzarella is already inside, so you eat it and bake it up and eat it too. So, awesome. And can you tell us about some of the other offerings? There's also craft beers here oh, and alcoholic craft drinks. Beer is nothing, you know, it's also, craft beer is something that is going bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Uh, there's nothing better than have a pretzel and a good beer together on a, on a, on a sunny Florida. So, you know, we have some local beers. We have uh, the, 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 the twisted uh, uh, daughter that is from uh, uh, Tampa, uh, St. Pete. We got the Orlando Red Ale. We got October 1st, those are the, se the seasonal beer. Plus, we got the twisted pretzel from Charter. Yeah, nothing wrong with that one. Awesome, and I heard you're working on something really special. It's something, a pizza. Something is that, you know, family comes to the park. And when they come to the park, you wanted to give them something different and unique that they don't have anywhere else. So, we come out like a, like a family meal pretzel. Family pretzel is gonna be a big pretzel that is gonna be a stuffed with mozzarella cheese, pepperoni, and uh, we're gonna bake it. We're gonna do it like a pretzel. And when we serve it, it's gonna be coming in a big pizza box, but it's gonna be a pretzel inside. And it's gonna be like a stuffed pizza. Out. That sounds amazing, I can't wait to try it. So here at Mama's Pretzel Kitchen, they have a ton of different options. Right here I have a pepperoni pretzel, a bacon infused pretzel, a meatball twisted pretzel with mozzarella cheese on top. There's also a bratwurst, pretzel dog, cinnamon pretzels with fresh baked chips, and normal pretzel bites as well. And dipping sauces, we have a beer infused mustard and a beer infused cheese as well, along with craft beers, but I'm not 21 yet, so I had to sit out on those.
Very good. Yeah. Now these are just samples. When you guys order them, they'll be full-size pretzels. Mm, this one's good. Mm, that cheese sauce is really good. Who is Mama behind Mama's Pretzel Kitchen? You know, Mama, Mama, Mama. It's, it's all about uh, the perception, you know, the best thing in life is when you grow up, when you eat at home, uh, uh, the good things that your mom cooks, those are the things that you keep it inside of you. Uh, so we're trying to do the old way, the oil style that we do in Preso, bring it back together. That's what we call it mama. Well, because mama is the one that used to have that, that kitchen in the morning doing things. Uh, and uh, so, so that's what we're trying to capture. We're trying to capture the old way to do things to do it over here. Because we do everything here, we, every morning, we make the dough, we mix the dough, we do the cheater, and we do it like that. Awesome. So it's all about trying to bring a little bit from home to the park so so we can have it there. Now that's just a taste of what you can get here at Mama's Pretzel Kitchen. There are a ton of options and it's open daily behind Shamu Stadium. The next time you plan a Disney vacation, book with a travel agency that's been specifically designated as an authorized Disney vacation planner. Unlike some other agencies, many of our agents' exclusive knowledge of Walt Disney World can help you get the most out of your vacation, and the assistance of our travel professionals can help you get a customized Disney vacation that's just right for you, your family, and your budget. Start planning your magical vacation today by visiting mousefantravel.com. Lisa, have you ever been to Dubai? No. I'd love to go, but I bet it's a hassle getting there. Used to be, but Emirates Airline just launched a direct flight from right here in Orlando. Cool. Can we go? Well, you'd have to talk to our producers, Jackie and Matt, about that. But I'll tell you what. I was at the launch and got to tour their first class cabins with our reporter, Gavin. And once you see them, you won't want to fly any other way. All right? Take a look. Hey, hey, Jackie, can we fly first class to Dubai? Wait, where are you going? Come back. Hey guys, I'm here at the Orlando International Airport. Today is the first day that Emirates Airlines is actually offering non-stop flights from Dubai to Orlando and back. So we got a plane to catch. Let's go. I'd like to say just how pleased we are to be able to finally make this announcement today. Orlando is a destination we have wanted to serve for many years. The benefits to our region and our local economy go far beyond the $100 million impact that the partnership that we enjoy today demonstrates. Through Emirate Airlines and its wonderful leaders, and airline ambassadors, we're establishing connections to regions and economies across the globe. Just imagine with daily service now available to Dubai and other popular de destinations throughout Asia and Africa, we will be able to expand our world famous brand to even more potential visitors and guests, as well as corporate leaders and executives. Through these new routes, Visit Orlando will be able to leverage its expansive global marketing and sales efforts to markets throughout the Middle East and Asia. And while we are extremely honored and excited about this partnership, sir, it is no surprise that the Emirates and the world is excited about exploring our market. Thank you for welcoming Emirates to Orlando, and we are honorable, honored to call your city our new home and to connect travel from the center of Florida with their family, friend, and business partner around the world. On behalf of all my colleagues at Everett Airline, it's my pleasure to say hello, Orlando. Thank you very much.
so this is pretty cool. I've never been out here before. Not a lot of people can say they have. Uh, on the tarmac at Orlando International Airport, and we're actually waiting for the aircraft to come in. So, really cool. So since we're Attractions Magazine, most of our viewers are really interested in what to, what there is to do in Dubai. So what, what is there to do in Dubai? There's tons to do. I have been living now there in Dubai for around about three years. Um, it's a super family friendly place. It's a very safe place. Uh, you have water parks. Um, Dubai for me is also the uh, only city where you can have breakfast on the beach in the morning and you can have dinner in the desert. Um, there are a lot of certainly cultural experiences with the old Dubai, with the Dubai Creek or waterway, um, world class hospitality. Um, so, um, and, and I mean, also the shopping experience is very unique with, for instance, uh, the Emirates Mall and um, the Dubai Ski World we have in there. So, really, tons to do for um, excitement and entertainment seeking uh, visitors. We see that a lot of visitors are kind of really kind of um, coming into Dubai. They love the entertainment, but it's, it's vice versa. You know, um, the guests guests from the Middle East, the guests from the Indian subcontinent, the guests from, from Africa, they love to come to uh, Orlando and really enjoy the world capital of entertainment. So it's kind of win-win, uh, you know, both sides uh, see the same kind of influx of travelers. And there's still a lot of development in Dubai, everything is still growing rapidly? Well, there's uh, a lot planned. Uh, there's a Bollywood uh, movie uh, theme park planned. Um, there's a Legoland uh, planned. So a lot of projects are in the pipeline. And uh, last but not least, and you heard it today, uh, 2020, um, Dubai will host uh, the World Exp Exhibition. And also this is, um, I think, an interesting fact for families, for people, for guests, for visitors, tourists to come to the UAE, to Dubai. So we're about to do a tour of the aircraft. This is an A380. It's the flagship aircraft for the company and won't actually come to our Orlando, they'll be using a Boeing 777 for all our guests flying out of Orlando to Dubai. I've only flown three times, and it's like, I've always, it's Southwest, so it's a small plane, so I'm like, I know I'm going to be shocked by how big this is. I like how every seat has a wrapped blanket, which for a 14 hour, 15 hour flight, it's probably fantastic to have one of those. Two stories? What? We're coming into the lounge. Hello, how are you? This is great. They have cameras on the outside of the plane so you can actually see what's going on. So your seats can actually fold out into a bed, which is fantastic, especially since you'd be taking such a long flight. So this is definitely where you want to sit if you're flying to Dubai. This is very comfortable. This is, this is nice. So you have a touchscreen television, and you have a tablet. Every seat comes with a tablet up here, and you also have a little area for all your beverages, and of course to call for assistance. And this is this is the way to fly. My goodness. So a really unique feature that I've never even heard of, but this is this is great. It has special lighting all throughout the plane to help reduce jet lag. And there's actually you probably can't see, but there's little LED lights in the ceiling that they use to simulate stars which I, I bet it works, but wow, that's so cool. So I was totally wrong. This is the way to fly. This is first class. That back there was business class. I mean, this is like unreal, unreal, very cool. I got to go to Dubai. I got to do it.
So this is actually where you can make a reservation to come in during your flight, sit in here, and it's like a sauna, but it's also a shower room. And this is a this is a plane. Remember that. This is a plane. Feels more like a cruise ship. So weird that this is a plane. <laughs> it doesn't feel like that. So cool. Unreal. It's beautiful. Thank you so much for showing us. Thank you very much. We did. So nonstop flights to Dubai are going out of Orlando International Airport daily now. And if you don't want to go to Dubai, you can still get to China, Australia, and Africa much faster now. And I would really recommend looking into Emirates. The Halloween season is quickly approaching here in Orlando. And I know what you're probably thinking, it's way too early for Halloween. September just started. But no, it's never too early for Halloween here in Orlando. In fact, you may want to attend some of the events if you're planning an upcoming visit. The same applies with almost any holiday, as parties and other special happenings around the parks often start a month or so in advance. For dates on many of the attractions in Orlando's upcoming holidays events, check our website. Skip the lines with undercover tourists, crowd calendars, touring plans, and mobile apps. Stop paying full price for your family vacation and visit Undercover Tours today. And now for this week's calendar. Screaming Orphans, what? Uh, the band, will headline the best of Irish entertainment at Downtown Disney's Raglan Road Irish Pub for the fourth annual Great Irish Hooli this Friday tomorrow through the 7th. Disney on Ice is at the Amway Arena this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And as we mentioned earlier, this Monday is your last day to ride Disaster at Universal Studios Florida before it makes way for Fast and Furious Supercharged. Mm -hmm. Remember, you can subscribe to our calendar at attractionsmagazine.com to stay up to date on these events and more. Finally, we want to say congratulations to the winner of our Disney on Ice Snapchat contest, Cassandra Cardenas. Your ticket vouchers are ready to be picked up here at the Theme Park Connection store at Fun Spot Orlando. And now we want to thank MAI Travel, our preferred travel agent for cruises, Disney World, Universal, and all your other vacation planning needs. For a free quote with no obligation, visit meitravel.com. And much thanks to Undercover Tourist, our recommended supplier of discount tickets to Orlando and California attractions. For more information, visit undercovertourist.com. And thanks to Fun Spot America, Central Florida's only family-owned theme park. They provide safe, clean fun in Orlando and Kissimmee. Visit fun-spot.com for tickets and more information. Remember, you can watch a brand new episode of the show each week on YouTube, Bright House Cable TV channel 999, iTunes, and through the O-Town app on Roku and Amazon Fire. You can also visit attractionsmagazine.com for news and videos throughout the week and find us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Snapchat, and Instagram. If you enjoy our show, please support it by subscribing to our magazine through our website, in our app, or on the Nook. All right, so Disney, we mentioned the calendar, Disney on Ice, happening this weekend. <laughs> Are you going to go out to it? Yep, I'm going Saturday at 11 a.m. and I'm so excited. I went to the Frozen one last year, so I'm excited that this one is just going to be the 100 Years of Magic, so it's going to be all of the Disney and not just Frozen. <laughs> if, if we can get a babysitter, I'm definitely going to go out to this because uh, yeah, I've never, I've mentioned before, never seen Disney on Ice before, so I really would hope to hope to get out there. It just, uh, just all depends on getting a babysitter. Definitely. So. They always put on a good show and they also have really good merchandise as well. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Where you? What have you picked up in the past merchandise wise? What should I expect to, to look for if <laughs> um, I go? Well, last year, like they had the popcorn buckets and the Olaf um, slushy snow cones that you can take home so, with so, you. So, is it different than what you would see at the parks? Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. so it's unique. That's that's cool. Mm -hmm. All right. Definitely. So, thank you guys so much for joining us, and we hope you'll tune in again next week. Until then, visit your local attractions, try something new, stay safe, but most of all, have, have fun! fun.
secret blooper of the week. Oh, wait, basically, have to film this. Filmish filming first. <laughs> filmish? Filmish? <laughs> One of those bacon pretzels with pretz pretzels. <laughs> Why can't we talk? Three, two. And now for this week's calendar. <laughs> <laughs> and now for this week's calendar. Screaming. Screaming orphans! <laughs> <laughs>